Hey guys, and welcome to our latest video, discussing the growing stablecoin industry and how it is affecting the cryptocurrency markets. Presently, there are around 200 different stablecoins accessible through the crypto marketplace. However, not all of these assets have been created equally, with six tokens continually to dominate the particular market niche. The single biggest stablecoin by market cap is definitely Tether. They used to claim that they were exclusively backed by the US dollar before changing it up a little bit in March 2019 when they said that they also were including loans made to affiliate companies. Currently, USDT boasts a market capitalization value in excess of $62 billion, while it continues to maintain a real-time price of $1. The same price mechanism is true for all market-leading stablecoins, including USD coin, or USDC which is the second largest such asset and one that has a current market cap of around $26 billion. Then comes Binance USD, or BUSD, which is a US regulated coin that was only created in September 2019 and has grown to achieve a market cap value of around $11 billion. Currently, DAI, or DIA, TrueUSD, or TUSD, and Paxo Standard, or PAX, all these comprise the rest of the top six stablecoins, which combine to create a cumulative market cap of more than $8 billion. So what are some of the main features of stablecoins? Most stablecoins are pegged to the value of the US dollar. For stablecoins, this means that each token pledges to retain a value as close to one US dollar as possible, usually achieving their price stability either through collateralization or a unique algorithmic mechanism by buying and selling the underlying asset and its associated derivatives. These stablecoins allow users to buy, sell, and exchange crypto assets with a token that has a more relative and tangible value, providing far greater stability and a point of reference in an inherently volatile market. This has changed the landscape of the entire marketplace from the perspective of traders, who no longer need to trade coins paired with Bitcoin or Ether, and so can manage their portfolios with less risk. More cautious traders who might want to mitigate risk also use stablecoins as a security measure. When they suspect that a bear market is coming, they can trade their crypto into a stablecoin and keep it there until the bulls come back. Another feature of stablecoins is how well they fulfill cross-border payments, allowing for more cost-effective and efficient remittance transactions while promoting far greater financial inclusion. In fact, stablecoins such as USDT provide a far better long-term option for crypto payments, as they offer lower transaction fees, greater speed, and no risk of losing value during a transaction. Now, let's consider the process of pegging stablecoins and of price movements in this niche. Clearly, such assets rarely stray too far in terms of valuation. But as we've already touched on, each uses slightly different mechanism to retain its peg. Let's look at Tether, for example, which is built on top of a cryptographically secure open blockchain technology and is broadly pegged at a one-to-one -one basis with the US dollar. Each Tether token is backed 100% by the network's real-time reserves with the same concept true for the market's other leading crypto assets. The question that remains, of course, is what happens when such assets are knocked off their peg? As painful as it might sound to get knocked off of its peg, well, there are mechanisms in place to correct that occurrence. But once again, all this will depend on the precise stablecoin in question. With Tether, it's the exchange that credits users' accounts with a single USD for every USDT deposited. However, when the price of USDT and USD deviates considerably for one dollar, arbitragers bring it back into sync. So let's say that the USDT and the USD rate drop to about 97 cents. Here, a trader could buy USDT and transfer this to another exchange before converting it back to one dollar, and then withdrawing this to their wallet. Of course, stablecoins have largely remained out of the headlines of late, having avoided the worst of the recent crypto bear run. However, Coinbase recently unveiled a new program that will put 4% annual percentage yield on the USDC, the world's second largest stablecoin, like we said. Theoretically, this is excellent news for investors who can bank on a return that's disproportionate to the USD exchange rate and far higher than the average savings account yield of less than 1%. As for Tether, the US Federal Reserve has recently revealed that USDT has more deposits than many US banks. This is a huge revelation, and one that highlights the immense appeal of Tether and its status as the crypto market's leading stablecoin. Of course, some economists have suggested that this may pose a financial stability risk, especially with just 2.9% of said deposits made in cash. 
At the same time, the aforementioned market caps of USDC and BUSD, which is the fastest growing stablecoin on the market, have continued to surge of late, despite the wider cryptocurrency space remaining in the grip of a bear market. In 2021, expect to see more governments trying to regulate stablecoins further, particularly because very few of these cryptocurrencies are properly backed one-to-one -one by real assets. For example, there is over 60 billion Tether in circulation, most of which is not backed by real dollars, causing a liquidity nightmare for regulators and to investors. So which stablecoins does Atomic support? You can currently manage, store, and exchange a wide range of stablecoins through the Atomic wallet including the six market leaders we spoke about in this video. The platform also offers access to some less common stablecoins, including Stably USD, or USDS, and Gemini Dollar, or GUSD, which are both pegged to the value of the US dollar. This represents a broad range of assets, which can be seamlessly exchanged through the Atomic Wallet with complete anonymity and without having to verify your identity. You can also check out the Atomic Wallet site to find out more, of course, including the real-time market caps and trading volumes of each asset. So that's it from us for now. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll be back real soon with some more informational videos.